YouTube. Here we are back for update number eight. So today we are welcoming another member to the family. Got this Ocellaris clownfish right here. He is actually came out of the same place that one came out of. They're from the same shop, same same little tank as well. They, they're so they were already together. I only got one of them and I was gonna I should have got two at the time, but I went back the next day, which was today, and just got his little brother or sister. So they already they already recognize each other. He's like, hey you, it's you from our same little old tank. But yeah, so here's the old five gallon. It's just gonna be sitting here. I think I'm gonna have to clean it out, empty it. Uh, probably sell it or do something. Um, oh look, one of the coral, corals is nice and happy, all the way opened up and I haven't even had any lights on. So that's good. So just getting this little clown acclimated, acclimated to the to the water. Check the temperature on the side. What we got? 78.3. Perfect. 78 Fahrenheit. That's what you always want the tank at. That's a preset heater. Preset heater. It's always going to be right there. All these guys are doing great. So look, this is the coral I was talking about. Look at that thing. It's growing out. Wow, that's great. This one still hasn't come out. This one still hasn't. So we'll give this guy a couple couple minutes and he'll be ready to go. So here's the tank, here's the filtration. Look at that. Filter floss already grabbing some some food and whatever else it's grabbing. So back in the last video, I said, let me know if I should put the wave maker in here or if this is enough flow just by that pump. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm not too sure if, you know, these, I know these are tropical. So, you know, clownfish love having, a, you know, water to kind of swim against and all of that. So let me know what you guys think put the wave maker in there or not. I don't really want to get the water going too crazy, but we'll see how it works. So yeah, this is, got the, my little blink camera, checking out the tank. Everybody's doing great. Turn on the light for you guys. So you see that coral, that coral. Hey, look at that coral, all up and up. Man, look, I can't even show you guys through the UV sunglasses. Yeah, how oh, beautiful. That's a black oscillaris, the regular colors. Yeah. Looking nice and fine through the sunglasses. Without the sunglasses, it makes it look, it makes my orange ones look a little dark, doesn't it? But yeah, I love this, uh, loving this tank so far, doing great. So, give you guys an update probably tomorrow. If you guys have any comments on any tips, tricks, or ideas for any videos, leave it down below. I'll try to get to it. All right, see you guys in the next one. This fish will be in there in a soon, in a second. <laughs> How to make it even, get four, so we got two pairs. And this should be great. They're not hosting any enemies or anything like that, so it shouldn't be, no, it's not territorial. Not sure if you guys had a called up, uh, heard of harem takes, haram, harem takes. That's like where they have like 20 clownfish in a tank like this. But I don't know if I'm going for something like that or not. I don't think so. I think, you know, this is the four that I'm, I'm going to stick with. Maybe later, later down on the road, a couple months, like one or one to three months, maybe I'll get a exotic clown or something going. But for now, these should be fine. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one tomorrow.